Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, December 9th, 2015. This is Talk To Me Tuesday, number 211. Sorry, no video last week between the weather and me not feeling good. It was just not happening. And then yesterday it got delayed because of the weather once again. We've had a lot of really cloudy gray days, so it has not been a good time for us this time of year to try and record. And I'm really hoping that it doesn't keep doing that to me or I'm going to have to start recording my videos earlier in the week on a day when maybe it is sunny. So, yes, I am here today. I would like to thank everyone who wished me to get well. I am starting to feel better. I went to the hospital. I was diagnosed. I've got been on antibiotics. I've got medication. I am starting to feel better. Starting to get a little more sleep because I'm not coughing as much, so... Yeah, two thumbs up for that. So anyway, not going to waste any more time yakking about that. Let's get into what I have to share with you this week so I can keep this as short and sweet as possible. First off, the postcard swap. <laughs> um, I am able to share the postcards I received as well as the postcard I sent if things would stop falling over. Um, and I'm going to do this as quickly as possible. So first up... The first one is from Rainy or Crafts from Love. She actually sent out three postcards instead of one. This one is made with a line of fabric that is done by a designer right there in her hometown of North Carolina. Trying to find a place to put them. The second one she did is the North Carolina State Insect, which is the European honeybee. And the third one she did is the Blue Ridge Mountains. So really pretty postcards there. Next is Wendy or Quilt Crazy, who she has done a postcard that represents where she lives, which is a country town of Lewisburg, North Carolina. And I just love the little sheep and pig and duck in the corner there. They're so cute. So there's that. Next, of course, is... You guessed it, Oaf and Jen, who is from Austin, Texas. And she wrote on the back, their unofficial motto is Keep Austin Weird. So really cool. Next up, of course, and this is for all you tea and coffee drinkers especially. This is from Susie, or Sue, or Susie Quilts. And this is actually a tin coffee pot that stands 7 feet 3 inches tall and could theoretically hold 11,840 cups of brew. Holy cow. Imagine that. Really cool though. I like that one. And last but not least is from our very own Vicky, or uh, who is from the UK. And she decided to go with British authors. And ta-da! I'm sure we all know who this young lady is. And why I like it, it's really cool, is this is a metal piece over the watchtower. So really cool. So there is Miss Mary Poppins. So really cool. Love all the postcards that I got. And I'm going to show you real quick the one I sent out, which is this one. I live in Schenectady, New York. And I put the apple to represent the Big Apple, which is what they call New York City. I put a light bulb for Thomas Edison, who was actually born in Schenectady. Um, we have the Electric City, is what they used to refer to Schenectady as, and of course, me. <laughs> and then I also included one more little bit of information, and that's that ragu pasta sauce was actually created by a woman right here in Rochester, New York, who came over from Italy. So, if you want to know where your ragu sauce comes from, it comes from Rochester, New York. <laughs> Imagine that. So, that's it for the postcards. If we do it again, I look forward to it. I was kind of considering doing postcards for Christmas cards this year. But when it took over three weeks for Miss Elf and Jen to receive her postcard, I think even if I do make postcards, I'm going to just put them in regular envelopes and send them that way. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Maybe people were just so busy looking at them that that's why it took so long. I don't know. Anyway, next thing I want to share with you, I don't have a whole lot because, of course, Christmas, I'm working on Christmas gifts. But because I make myself a lot of knit or crocheted socks and slippers, they're starting to wear out because I wear them so much. So, ta-da! I'm working on another pair of slippers for me. 
and this is a really neat pattern it's very basic it's nothing it's just a really cool ribbed pattern and there's my camera I hate when it does that so there it is very basic very simple pattern for a slipper and this is done using the Hirschner's worsted eight yarn I couldn't I don't even remember the color but that's all the really pretty colors that are in it works up really quickly I started this yesterday afternoon I only did like eight rows on it and then I finished it at work last night and actually started on the second one and I'm showing it to you now because when I'm done with the second one I'm gonna wear them so <laughs> There is another pattern the same person created that has a cable pattern. I'm going to try that one next. Uh, the only thing I did change about the pattern itself is the heel flap. I didn't like the way the heel flap was done. It made it really too long in my opinion, so I changed that. But that's it. Other than that, like it. So, And they fit nice and soft and comfortable. So I will have some new slippers. And maybe next week you will see the new slipper, the other pair of slippers who knows last thing I want to share with you is an early Christmas present that my son gave me I don't know how many people get the Hirschner's catalog or if they have them in any other craft catalog but there's something known as mosaic art which is pixel art and it's really cool um, <laughs> I'm going to show you the picture I'm making and then I'm going to explain to you how it's done as briefly as possible this is the picture of what it's going to look like when it's complete which is all these really pretty butterflies and this is what it's done with okay this is just a plastic base and it has raised little bumps I think you can see them there all these raised little bumps there's actually 2,000 raised bumps per one of these plastic bases and then on those plastic bases you put these little tiny itty bitty pixels which they're little plastic pieces that have little holes in them as you can see and they're very very tiny and I mean very tiny you actually have to use a pair of tweezers to do this so this is the pattern there are um, in my kit there are actually nine pattern sheets like this and each square four squares represents a different section on one of the base plates and what you're supposed to do is take this little plastic piece and set it over it like that and then do the different colored pixels that it tells you that are represented by the symbols so this is what I've gotten done so far I've actually completed two of these and I'm a, these are the two I've completed if you put them together that's one section of it I actually have 10 total of these to do there are 2,000 pixels on each one of these so there's 4,000 pixels done so far and you look at the colors and they're just absolutely beautiful nice vibrant colors but they have little pieces that hold them together and this is what it looks like when you're working on it <laughs> so this is the page I'm working on and I have completed everything but this bottom section here and that's what it looks like when you're working on it and it's really neat it's a lot of fun I find it very relaxing um, even when I've made a mistake and I've had to take pixels off I don't mind I think it's really cool so this is something you'll be seeing over time and I can't wait until it's done because it's like really neat looking <laughs> so, and it does did kit yeah the kit did come with a frame so the only thing I think I need to do is get a glass piece to actually set over it I think they tell you to use clear tape to hold the pixels in place I think I'd rather get a piece of glass and put that on there instead we'll see anyway that's all I have to share with you I've been working on stuff for Christmas so I can't share that with you I still have stuff to get done for Christmas yet which is nothing new um, thankfully we're only in the beginning of December <laughs> 
but uh, what I have left to do won't take much time at all. So the only other thing that you'll be seeing hopefully over time, my son and I went to a place called Hidden Treasures. There were a couple dollhouses in the window and I've always wanted a dollhouse that I could decorate and you know make look really nice and make little like sheet and you know make little curtains and afghans and stuff like that for well we actually went in this place and we picked up a dollhouse that was already put together for twenty five dollars it does need work i mean it, if you were driving down the street and you saw an old house that was abandoned that's what this house looks like <laughs> it needs work but uh I want to take it and I want to redo it. I want to just take the structure that is already there and put my own twist on it um, and see what I can come up with to kind of make it my own. I don't expect it to look like a brand new house. I want it to have that aged look to it. So it's not going to look, you know, like something that somebody just built. Uh, but I'm looking at it, it's right behind the camera here. so. It is a, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. I'm going to take some before pictures, and then as I work on it over time, I will take, you know, pictures as I go. And I'm hoping that I can have it in a state where by the, holi by the holidays next year, I can actually decorate it for the holidays. So we'll see. But it's a pretty neat house. I like it. It does need work. Like I said, if you were to go past an abandoned building that's what you're looking at so but it's really cool so I'm hoping that I will at least get it to the point where I can decorate it next year even if there is still work that needs to be done still be able to decorate it for the holidays so we'll see other than that uh, now that I'm feeling better I maybe will spend a little more time on my computer I have a lot of videos to catch up on there are some that I can actually watch at work on my phone um, but not everybody has a YouTube channel that I can go to to watch them, unfortunately. So uh, if anybody has a YouTube channel that I can watch your videos on, if you don't mind commenting somewhere, you know, what your YouTube username is or whatever so I can watch it, that would be great. gives me something to watch when I'm at work. So anyway, uh, my battery in my camera is saying, hi, <laughs> I'm getting ready to die on you, so I think I'm going to go. Plus, I'm starting to ramble, and I don't want to spend the rest of the video rambling. So, anyway, uh, with that being said, I do look forward to watching everyone's videos. I hope you all have a wonderfully crafty week and a wonderfully crafty weekend. As for me, I'm out. I'm going to go sit down and get this edited and uploaded while I enjoy one of these really tasty-smelling chocolate chip cookie bars I made this morning. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> As for you, it's good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good day, whatever it is. I really do hope it's a great one, and I will see you all next week, hopefully on time. So, bye! Hey everyone, it is Wednesday, August. August? Holy shit, I'm in August.